been so long since I've picked up a camera and documented my life but I think in my very last video which was a long time ago maybe a year or two ago I mentioned that we had just got a house and that we were renovating it and I am in said house at the moment and since then we have basically just been completely transforming this place which is what I'm excited to show on my YouTube channel no matter how many people are watching Who's tuning in? I think this is a really exciting time of our lives and time to document and look back on. We also got engaged recently, me and Rob. So this is a story that we're gonna tell in this vlog. We're going to Miami in, I think maybe two to three days. So we're gonna be prepping just our luggage. I've kind of not unpacked from Italy, so it's gonna be quite easy to pack from Miami and just prepare for our trip. We're gonna get some lunch today and just kind of vlog the Miami trip. Again, I haven't vlogged in so long, so this will be a new feeling. Rob actually doesn't know that I'm vlogging today, so he's gonna be pleasantly surprised when he sees that I decided to pick up the camera. But I find this is the perfect time because it's the end of summer. I feel like the house was just completed and then we had like loads of visitors coming and staying and I hadn't like vlogged in so long, so I felt like really awkward if I was vlogging around visitors. So I feel like this nice quiet time of my life, I finally get to show our house and like the at home stuff that I enjoy watching on YouTube. So I'm very excited. I feel like probably September, October is like my favorite time in Marbella because all of the crowds have gone, it's less hot, there's no traffic and we can really enjoy. I know we're going to Miami in this video, but I'd like to show you more of Marbella in the future. I was wearing jeans, but I decided to change into a skirt because it's absolutely roasting still. This top is from Zara. I love the little tie front and the buttons. And then the skirt is old from IMG. I live in this. And then I got these Prada loafers for autumn. It still feels like summer here though, but I think they're cute with this outfit. This mirror actually doesn't live here. It lives here but I always love the lighting when I move it here so just always hope it doesn't topple down on top of me but let's go to lunch this stone wall is one of my favorite parts of the house but I'm also gonna do a kind of video going through the full house like a house tour because there's such a transformation from the before and after and I'll include all the transformational footage but it used to be an old Spanish house and now we made it very new and modern and very us as well. minute shellac before the flight and it's just so weird seeing the ring on my finger it's so cute but I decided to just go for kind of a natural sparkly shellac and picked up some new makeup bits last minute I got the airbrush setting spray the flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury I usually use fix plus to set my makeup but I've heard great things about this and I wanted to try I also got Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in a mini. This has a mirror on it, so it's really handy for your handbag. And then I went to the MAC store and got one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's the shade Gingerly by MAC. It's like a peachy, bronzy blusher. I highly recommend if you're going for like a sun-kissed makeup look. So I'm gonna pop these in my bag quickly and then hit the road. So we have around two hours until we have to leave for the flight, but I'm just packing up all of my makeup and cosmetics 
hair care, skin care. So I thought I'd show you just what makeup products I'm loving at the moment for my everyday makeup routine. But I'll probably wear this on the flight just with a sweatshirt over because I get really, really cold on planes. Miss Dior fragrance and also this Sol de Janeiro body mist. It smells really summery. It's so good. The airbrush flawless setting spray that I just showed you and also this vitamin enriched face base by Bobbi Brown. I always put my SPF inside my cosmetics bag to remind me to put it on before makeup. This is the La Roche Posay 50 plus. I've also brought the NARS tinted moisturizer. This is in the shade medium one. This is really good for when I don't actually want to wear a foundation. And then for foundation, the MAC Studio Radiance. This is in shade C3. And my concealer in NC20 Studio Finish. This is also MAC. And this is nice and compact for traveling. I love any cream bronzers or blushes. So I'm bringing the NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna 2. My Rare Beauty Blush. This is in the shade Bliss. And also I've been using Benetint a lot recently to like add a nice stain to my lips and cheeks. Charlotte Tilbury powder that I just showed you to set my makeup. This is in medium two, the mini. And also my gingerly blush that I just showed you. This kind of acts like a blush or bronzer, which is really, really nice. And then I always bring this highlighter just for like a bit of an extra glow. This is Soft and Gentle by MAC. For eyes, I think this palette's really handy. It's the Pillow Talk palette by Charlotte Tilbury. Some Kat Von D liquid eyeliner. And then for brows, I've been obsessed with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I apply this with just a brow brush. Benefit, Give Me Brow, and also this little pen from MAC. For mascaras, I bring a brown mascara. This is the Sky High Maybelline in brown, and then also a black. This is MAC Extended Play. Both really, really good mascaras. I bring one lip gloss one lip balm these are both from dior and then also an oil this is jisoo and for liners i'm gonna bring the charlotte tilbury iconic nude i think everyone knows about this nude lip liner it's so good and then also the mac spice lip liner so that's everything that's going inside my makeup bag made my hair so curly it's like ringlets I'm hoping it falls out but we've just finished our very very first night in Miami we stayed in this hotel for the very first night and then we check into our Airbnb at four so we're gonna leave our bags here and go down to the beach for a little bit I'm wearing my a girl to die for bikini this is unreleased but I love it so much. So we have Novikov booked for tonight. After we check into our Airbnb, I'll do a little bit of an Airbnb tour. But till then, we'll just be down at the beach. Rob's getting his hair cut now, so I'm just waiting for him to finish up. But we arrived last night. We went for tacos when we arrived at a place called Taco Taco and then went straight to bed. But I highly recommend checking that place out if you're in Miami. The food was so good. I think the food's so good here because it's so close to Mexico. So all the Mexican food is unreal, but I'm really excited for today. We made it down to the beach and we got frozen margaritas. These look so good. We just brought down our own towels for today. We'll probably get a bed tomorrow, but very excited for these. Are you excited? Yeah, they're huge. just checked in we came straight from the beach and we are just so happy to be here like the place is so clean so fresh we got the living room here massive couch dining area here we're gonna try and cook a few meals ourselves huge big kitchen big American fridge we have the bathroom that Linda is definitely gonna take over and make it her own and then we got an absolutely huge bed I think that's like a super king size bed can't wait <laughs> Outfit of the night. So this is Revolve. This little satin two-piece. I've had it for so long and I'm happy I get to wear it. The shoes are mango. They're just little white kitten heels. And then my bag is of course Designer Exchange from Dublin. Best vintage designer store. And Rob, run me through your outfit. We have the candle lit for yeah. ambiance. Yeah, that, that's actually a great addition. Okay, so 
We have the Alexander McQueen's that I've had for maybe three years now. I put them in the washing machine, they still say very white. We have these white linen pants that I got in Capri, okay? Actually, not Capri, Positano. We got them and I was like, oh my god, these are the best quality, the best fit. I just had to get them and support local business. So I've been wearing them non-stop since then. And then this is a Zara, pretty much see-through top. It's so good when you're in hot weather. And you just want something that you just try on. You this look amazed. I look amazed and I feel amazed. <laughs> to our engagement. All right, so the story starts in Dublin and when I was gonna pick up the ring, I had to find a time when we're not together and that's extremely rare. I got the ring and it's in a massive box, okay? It's a big ring. And so I had to hide it in my luggage. And it was trying to help me pack and I was like, no, do not go near there. Got to Italy, uh, Positano was the first three days. Had it stowed away and then we went to Capri. Said, let's take some photos out in the balcony. And uh, we're taking photos, standard as we do, always yeah. with the tripod. And I said, I got something that'll make this photo a lot better. And she thought I was gonna go in, like get a drink or something, and I came out with the ring. So it's our final night here, and I thought I'd show you my hair because I never wear my hair like this. And I think it's really nice when you're wearing an earring to have one side swept behind, and then I kind of did my parting more this side and swept that across. And I'm just wearing this little strapless dress. We're gonna go to a place called Bauli or Bauli. It's like a sister restaurant for Mila, which is a really popular restaurant here in Miami. But I've been having the best trip ever. I also did my eyes smokier than I usually would wear. Tonight, just with the Charlotte Tilbury pillow top palette, and then used a bit of brown liner on the side. The meal was 10 out of 10. So we're gonna to go to CVS. I'm outside CVS now. Get some snacks and then we leave for Houston tomorrow. We're there for about a week for Rob's work and then we head back to Marbella. But thank you so much if you've made it this far in the video and I will see you in my next one.